Hey camera people. I'm gonna show you how I organize all of my camera memory cards. So first of all, I shoot predominantly with CF cards, which are these big square ones. Um, although sometimes I use SD cards. Now, why we use either of those um, is a different story, but we use this wallet. I use a low pro memory wallet 20 SNF series. I just bought it at the local camera store. Um, although I'll include a link to somewhere where you can buy it on Amazon. Now there's all these little pockets in here. And as a professional photographer, I go through so many cards. I own so many cards. This is just a few of them. Um, if you're shooting as an amateur, you don't need this many pockets usually. Um, most of the camera organizing wallets will only hold like six. Like they'll only have this many and and it's useless to me. I need something that has a lot. So this is one of the few cases I have found that actually holds enough. Um, now, the way that I organize it, I've actually got a system here because when you're working with so many cards um, and multiple clients and multiple shoots, you don't wanna have to keep plugging your card into your camera to figure out, is this card empty? Which photo shoot is on this card? I don't know. So um, <clears throat> the cards, when I put them in here, you see the cards have a colored side, either um, gold or black um, or blue, depending on you know the size and the or gray. Um, and then the back side is pretty much always white. Um, and then there's red at the top. Notice. So I this is my system. I pay attention to these colors. So when a card is empty, ready to be used, fresh for a shoot, I put it in <clears throat> like this so that I can see the colored side and it's dark. Now, um, once I've used a card and it's empty, um, or sorry, it's full, it's full of photos and I have not yet saved them. You know, like I just pulled it out of my camera, put it in changing a card, it goes in flipped around like this. So white, that means that card cannot be used. Don't touch it, go use this one. So at the end of a shoot, I'll have multiple white things showing um, and then I'll come home and I will save the photos, um, empty them off the card and turn the card back around ready for a new shoot, right? So this is a pretty simple, that's, that's the basic of how I function. Uh, I evolved this great system over a couple years. It's super simple, but it's something that um, has really made my life a lot easier. There was a time when I didn't have all of these pockets. And so I would just keep my cards in like a zip pocket in my camera bag, but that means that they're all mixed. And so during a shoot, I would be plugging it in and seeing if it's full and being like, oh yeah, I already used that one. Let's try this one. So that's wasting time. Your clients are waiting around. You're missing out on cute moments. Um, also, it's risky every time you plug the card in, like your card can get damaged because it's mechanics. You're, you're taking a card and you're putting it into a slot and it's all these little, um, see the little holes there, like feminine, masculine holes. And the little prongs inside your camera can get messed up and broken um, and cards can get bent and out of shape. And so really as mechanical things, you wanna minimize the amount of time that things are touching. So I don't like putting cards in and out unnecessarily. So by doing a system like this, it means I'm not having to test cards. Um, the other thing is there's always the risk that you hit the wrong button and click delete on photos you don't wanna delete. So I don't wanna be putting a card in there if it doesn't need to be in there. Um, Whew, let's see what else. Sometimes I will keep cards in the wallet when I've already I've already um, downloaded them to my computer or uploaded them to my computer, but I'm not ready to erase the card yet. And that's what you see back here. Whoops, that's a bad example. Yeah, these ones show red. You can see it's the white side, but it's red. So that means these cards are full. You cannot use them, but they've already been backed up once on the computer. So, um, and a good example of this is um, like these cards actually have photos that were taken at my wedding. 
So I don't want to delete them yet because I haven't like triple backup and saved the ones on the computer yet. So these are still a version of my backup system. You see what I mean? Um, Cause as soon as I clear these, then the only place where they're saved is on my computer and I'm not comfortable with that. So <clears throat> if it's black, it means it's clear. You can shoot on it. If it's white, it means the, the cards uh, that this that this card has photos on it and they have not yet been imported to the computer. This means this card has photos on it and they have been imported to the computer. Okay, and then it's up to you whether that means like, hey, this means you can go ahead and clear it or don't clear it yet, but you could in, a, in an emergency. That's kind of what these hang out for. It's like, I don't really want to delete them yet, but if I were on a shoot and all the other cards were full and I had no other option, then I know that I could, I could delete these ones. So essentially, these ones are hanging out as just extra backup storage because for the, right, for the moment, I don't need these cards because I'm not doing that many shoots this month. Um, however, in like super duper busy season, I might fill up a wallet, a full wallet of cards in one weekend. And that is always a sticky situation. I hated that when I'm at a photo shoot and I'm like, I only have one card left. Ugh, this sucks. So number one rule, just make sure you have a lot of cards. Um, um, another tip, just a little bonus is <clears throat> I try to shoot on larger cards. So there's 32 gigabytes and there's eight gigabyte cards. Um, I started my career only thir shooting on 32 because I thought it was like really efficient. Like you put a card in and it lasts all day. Um, halfway through my career thus far, I started shooting on smaller cards because I was nervous, like what if a card breaks? What if a card is corrupted? Uh, what if I lose it? Um, if I do a whole shoot and the shoot is divided by three cards, if I lose one card or it breaks, at least we still have some photos from the shoot. More recently, I have returned to shooting on larger cards because I really appreciate the ease of not having to carry around the full wallet. Um, like if I'm going on a one hour shoot, I'm not gonna bring all 20 cards. I can just go with one and maybe one back up in my pocket. Um, because then I know that, you know, I'm not gonna fill 32 gigabytes in one hour. So that just makes my life a little bit easier. Um, really when I got all of these cards when I was shooting weddings, I had that many cards. I needed a full day. Um, especially if there was like two weddings in one weekend and you didn't have time to transfer and clear the cards yet. Now that I predominantly just do one hour shoots, I just need one, one, one card really. But again, when you're running a busy photography business, you don't always have time to come home and download the photos before your next shoot. So it's really important that you have lots of cards so that you can do shoots all day long. Um, yes, there's so many other things I could tell you about cards, but that's it really. Um, and in terms of the, the wallet, it's nice. You know, you can have the little thing. I've, I've had a little carabiner, hold it to my um, camera bag. Um, but I always make sure that this, I mean, this is gold. This is where all of your money is. It's in these cards. So I don't ever let this like hang outside or attached to a pocket and flop around. Even if it's attached to a carabiner, I take it and I put it inside the bag and I will put it in a compartment and, and, and zip it up. Like I keep this really protected um, because it is like having all of your eggs in one basket. If you have all your cards in one wallet, you gotta keep it safe. Um, cool. When you buy cards, they come with these little plastic things and um, I never use them because opening and closing takes too much time. So I have a whole box where they, all those plastic things live, but um, I just keep the cards naked inside the wallet. Cool. Let me know if you have any questions. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and I'll talk to you soon.